Callaway Golf is a major golf supplier. We are number one in woods, irons, and putters. And the putter brand is our Odyssey brand. Odyssey is the number one putter brand in retail. It's also the number one putter brand across all uh, worldwide tours. And we pride ourselves on building putters that are more advanced technology with inserts and multiple materials. Our ball really came out from a, a pro tour player that wanted a specific uh, putter. Uh, it was actually a two ball that we chopped off the front ball from, and then uh, the, our Japanese tour department really liked it, and so we ended up releasing it in Japan. It's quite interesting because the main putter itself um, was successful, um, and it works in the marketplace, but there were some aspects of the design we wanted to take further, particularly in the area of sound. The Japanese market is very accepting of maybe higher pitches or different kinds of sounds. We then had to re-engineer it a little bit so that it didn't have the same kind of characteristics as it does in Japan. We came up with several designs, but we were unable to manufacture. So when we ran up against the limits of our traditional manufacturing methods, it was a good opportunity to see how efficiently we could change the acoustics by using additive manufacturing. We've been looking at additive for a long time. Now we're at the point where additive is really taking off and getting much more functional at a cost that's not prohibitive. GE, they're building parts now for their jet engines, and if it can fly in a jet aircraft, it probably can be just fine for golf. GE is one of the world's most sophisticated end users of additive manufacturing, and we're working together to find a way to increase the performance of Callaway products using additive. It's a totally different way of making a product and we've been doing investment castings and forgings and machinings for so long that we know all the limitations, we advance them, but they don't advance as much as a total paradigm shift like a additive manufacturing. You know, Callaway has a, a very profound design mentality and, the, and they're experts in their field already. What they need help with is designing for additive and that's kind of where we come in. With additive, you're, kind of, you have a, a, you're printing cross-section by cross-section, so you, you have constraints, they're just a different set of constraints than conventional manufacturing, and with that, much more design freedom. When you give a designer free reign to design whatever they want, it really opens up a whole toolbox of, of things that you can do. We understand some of the design constraints, but we still need to utilize GE's expertise and the build constraints to achieve a final part. You can use topology optimization to really only put material where it needs to be, and we've learned a lot about how to make additive work. And we can take that experience and help customers shorten the time that it takes to get from prototype to production. So you can really create any shape. Uh, your, your primary constraint is really, can I grow it without supports? And supports are really your limiting design for additive manufacturing. And that's something that collaborating with GE has been helpful with. This has opened up an entirely new manufacturing method that then allows us to really tweak and change where we can put support structures and ribbing and webbing to really get the sound where we want it. We are allowed to make the design superior, so literally change the performance of the product and create this pleasingly different shape that has a more generative design look to it. They helped us to tweak the design so that it was buildable and then also design the supports that were needed at the end of the day to, to make sure it prints it well. We are functionalizing geometry in Callaway products that results in higher performance. It's a journey. It, it takes time. And so one of the things that GE has learned in that process is the more committed you are to really finding a solution and finding an application and finding a process that works for your products, the sooner additive is going to work for you. Oh, it's a, an incredible opportunity that this opens up. Very exciting in terms of different structures you can make that are not manufacturable now. It's, it opens up a whole new world of stuff. What GE really gets out of this collaboration is insight into uh, other industries. So we can take that learning and we can make our machines better. We really want our equipment to enable our customers to meet the needs of their industry. We help them to understand what we do and it was a great exchange of ideas and, and knowledge.